What's up Trophy Hunters? Sony announced the PS Plus Extra and Premium Games for November 2023. They are available to download on November 21, except Teardown, which can be downloaded today. So I will show you now all the games including Platinum, Difficulty and Time, and we're starting with the first game, Teardown. The game releases today on console, so I have no information how long it will take to get the Platinum. All I know is the game is only available on PS5, comes with 27 trophies and has a lot of good reviews on Steam. So this one is probably worth a try and do not forget you can download the game today. Next one is one of my all time favorites, Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. And yes, this is the PS4 version and comes with 60 trophies. There are a handful of missable trophies, but you need two playthroughs anyway to get the Platinum. If you have never played this, I highly recommend give the game a try, it's really good. Next one is Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme vs Maxi Boost On. The game comes with 36 trophies and is probably a nightmare for trophy hunters because it requires online play and has a lot of online trophies. Here are a few examples, you need to play 300 online matches or you need to win 100 online matches etc. Definitely not my kind of game and the trophy list is horrible. Next one is one of the easier ones, Dead Island Riptide, the definitive edition. The game comes with 36 trophies and most of them are pretty straightforward, but unfortunately there are two very annoying online trophies. The first online trophy is you need to complete all main quests with another partner. And the second annoying trophy is it's an order, you need to mark 100 opponents, which will then be killed by your corp buddy. Overall there are no missable trophies, but be careful because some trophies are a little bit buggy. The next game is Super Liminal. The game is available on PS4 and PS5. The base game comes with 24 trophies and there is a DLC with another 2 trophies. But the DLC is not necessary to get the Platinum. Basically if you know what to do, the game can be completed in less than 5 hours. But keep in mind there is a speedrun trophy, you need to complete the game in less than 35 minutes, which is a bit of a pain. Next one is Ayuden Chronicle Rising. The game will be available on PS4 and PS5. The game comes with 51 trophies and is basically an easy platinum. There are no really missable trophies and you need to play through the game one and a half time to get the platinum. The only tricky trophies are beating 5 bosses on hard, but this can be done on New Game Plus, so basically it's pretty easy. And for the real time strategy fans out there, we have Nobunaga's ambition Taishi. The game comes with 30 trophies and no trophies are missable, but like most of these real time strategy games, the platinum is pretty tough and time consuming. Keep an eye on the trophy, the power of gold, you need to achieve 100,000 gold income, because since the latest patch, the trophy can be buggy. The next game is Daedalus, also known as Alternate Jake Hunter, Daedalus The Awakening of Golden Chess. And yes, this is the full title. However, this is a visual nor and comes with 22 trophies. Of course, they are missable, but with a guide it can be completed in less than 3 hours. And the last game before we going into the classic games, River City Miele Mark. First of all, this game has no platinum. And the second thing is I couldn't find any information about how hard is it to get all the trophies in this game. So far as I know, there is one online trophy and overall it looks very time consuming. Fortunately, I don't want to play this game even if it's free. And now let's take a quick look at the classic games. This time we have five games. Each game will be available on PS4 and PS5. But keep in mind, there are no trophy informations online yet. As you already can see in the background, the first game is Grandia for PS1. I believe this one will definitely have trophy support. The next one is Chat Moto for PS1. I think this game will probably also have trophy support because the publisher are 989 Studios and Sony Interactive. I also remember back I played this game on the original PS1 and I didn't like it. Next one is the PSP game Disney Pixar Up. I don't believe this will have some trophy support. The next one will be Clonoa Fantasy Reverie series. This basically includes two games, the PS1 game and the PS2 game. The game comes with 25 trophies and a relatively easy platinum. And last but not least we have Parappa the Rapper 2. This is the PS4 version, comes with 50 trophies, but keep in mind there is no platinum trophy. So if you ask me, to be honest, this month is really bad. There's only one game I would play and this is Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. What do you think about this month? Let me know it in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.